Hard to believe it's been a whole week since that dark utopia mess. Time passed so quickly. But doesn't it strike you as kind of weird? I mean, we're talking about this huge incident with all these people involved, but the news has already just forgotten about it. Like there hasn't been a peep lately. Well, to be fair, they can only repeat cause still unknown so many times, can't they? Beyond that, it seems no one has anything left to say. Not even Daishihan Pharmaceuticals? You'd think they'd be taking some heat for this at least. <laughs> Maybe they are, but that's not my problem anymore now, is it? Eh, don't matter none to me anyway. Everything's wrapped up and back to normal, and that's good enough in my book. Don't seem like nobody died in the whole Synthester hullabaloo, neither. At least, I ain't heard about it if anybody did. Tons of people hospitalized after getting their energy sucked out, though. Supposedly, all the Synthesters who burned up in the sun turned back into humans and were found collapsed on the street, believe it or not. They're in tremendous pain and have to go through rehabilitation before they can rejoin society at large, but, well, that's the price you pay, I suppose. As long as Protector is good, that's all that matters. So everything's more or less okay in Akiba. But what about you Night Eaters? Our people used to be worshipped as Earth deities, feeding off the piety of our loyal subjects. But these days, the nights have grown a bit less dark, and nature has become a bit less threatening. Our hearts used to beat to the people's prayers, but now those prayers are silent and our powers fade. Is it that lack of piety that's keeping you from having children? Is there just not enough life energy for the task? Is that why you're dying out? Soga thought he could take the desires of Akiba's people and harness them into a new kind of piety to replace what we had before. And he was doing it for us, all of the Night Eaters, myself and Rin as well. He was doing it to give us a future. <gasps> to give your whole race a future. I think I would have gone to those extremes for my brother too, if I had to. Because if anything ever happened to him, it would be troubling. Very troubling indeed. Well, no matter what he was trying to accomplish, his methods were just plain wrong. But his heart was in the right place, and his dream of seeing our people bounce back, that was a good cause. So I'm gonna make it happen. Remember, you have a tendency to get cold at night, so be sure to cover yourself all the way before bed. Th that was a long time ago. I'm fine now. I can't believe you're really going. I never know what to say in situations like this. I hope you'll come visit us again sometime. I know a great bike route if you're ever interested. If you should ever have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be here for you. Let's watch Strip Prism SDX next time! I'll leave the upstairs room just the way it is, in case you ever want to come back. Um, come back to Mogra for a visit sometime. Promise you will. Thank you. I know how hard it is for you to be outside, and I appreciate you coming to see me off. It's not like I don't ever go out, you know. I really think you should stay, sis. I've already told you a thousand times. I need to consult with the others about what took place here. And besides... No, never mind. It's probably just my imagination. <laughs> sis... It's time for me to go. Thank you all again for coming to see me off. Please look after Rin for me. 
All right, then. Take care. Can't believe she's gone. We'll see her again, I'm sure of it. Maybe we can visit the Night Eater Village someday. Well, Shizuku's gone off to walk her own path, so I think it's about time we do the same. Yeah, I hear you there, Pops. Gotta seize the day, since you never know when this game bar's gonna go under. Hey, that ain't funny. <laughs> it's... it's nothing, really. I'd like to be left alone for a while, if that's alright. Rin seems very depressed. Must be really hard on her being away from her sister like this. Mr. Manager, whatever are you doing staring off into space at a time like this? I believe that was your cue to run after her. Go. To a happier life. IRL. You're the only one who can be there for her right now. She's right. Come on, get the lead out and chase her down. I wanted to be alone. Why would you follow me? <sighs> now that the danger's gone, there's really no reason for us to stay bound, you know. So, I hereby set you free. <clears throat> I can't. I can't handle you being near me. I sing for the legions of fans who adore me. I give them my voice, and they give me their love. But... Uh, but... When you're near, I get this strange feeling all through my body. It's like my brain can't handle you and everything turns upside down. And... Uh, uh, I'll say it. I'll just come right out and say it. When you're near me, I'm not the Rin who sings for all her fans. Instead, I feel like I could be just your idol. Yours alone. And that's just... Uh, I can't. I'm a failure as a pop idol. It's pathetic. That's why... I just have to put some distance between us. I... have to. <gasps> What's going on? I can't... stop crying. It's like everything you said just keeps on echoing inside me, right through my heart. <laughs> it can't be. What's wrong with me? I'm actually happy. <laughs> Why? What have you done to me? <sighs> I guess I'll let it go for today. Because you made me realize something really important. Something I'd bury deep down. So I have a favor to ask of you. Will you go on supporting me? You know, keep me in check, like you have been, but forever? You wouldn't mind that, would you? Wait, no, that's not the way to ask. D support me! That's an order! You... Promise? You're my familiar, you know. The only one I have in all the world. But even more than that, you're someone special to me. I need you with me in order to keep moving forward. I want you at my side the whole way. 
Wherever we go, I want the wind to carry your voice and mine together all across the world. And I plan to go full speed ahead, okay? I don't want to hear any complaints about how you can't keep up. I can see by the look in your eyes that you're ready to start this journey. So let's go then. Let's go find that new Akiba no one's ever seen.